This is a flashback to a December 8th hit by Zach Aston Reese. And to me, this is an example of a shoulder to head contact, not the other way around. Aston Reese is in a great position here. He's got his stick on the ice. He does make a play on the puck. I would call this a hockey play because he's trying to eliminate the player and play the puck at the same time, and he actually walks away with the puck. We see his angle of approach leading into contact is quite good. It's not quite a blind side. He actually pivots with the Kings player, and they're going in the same direction. But here's where things get dicey. That sudden turn across the body and through the head. Like I said, he gets the puck. It's, it's good that way. But look at his body position right now compared to the moment of contact. His legs flip, his knees are bent, and all of a sudden his legs straighten up because he's driving upward and outward into that contact. And he goes right through the head. Arm out, shoulder out. There's no reason at all to extend that shoulder to pick the head here. There's no reason to have that elbow and arm shrug and push off here. He's in perfect position to just keep on gliding and have that Kings player bump into him. He does not need to shrug and extend across the body like that and lean on such a significant angle. That, to me, is driving the shoulder into the head. Stick down, squat, good position, lean and drive. Good position, stick on nice squat, now lean and drive. Not the most horrific play, but definitely picking the head and definitely avoidable head contact. 